A couple of days ago, I built the Saturn V rocket in KSP2 as close as I could to the real thing. But when I tested it out, there was a lot of extra fuel on the moon mission, which got me thinking, can I send the Saturn V to Duna, KSP's equivalent of Mars? So that's what we're doing today. Make sure you follow the Twitch, the link's in the description, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go save Bob. We had to leave him. If you weren't here when we made, we built the Saturn V, and the Saturn V can only bring three Kerbals back from the moon, but we accidentally launched with four. So we had to leave one and we left Bob. Rip Bob, he's not dead yet. We have a couple options. We could either launch the Saturn V again, but just bring two astronauts and then pick up Bob and then bring him back. Or we could build a whole new rocket, depending on what you guys want to do. Okay, it looks like new rocket one. So we're gonna be like building a new rocket to save Bob instead of launching the Saturn V. Here we go, Jeb is flying solo to go save his friend. Okay, why is it rotating? I don't like that. That's not good. Is it the way I placed the fins? We're fine. I can make this work. It's just for the first stage. It's trying to rotate by itself, so I have to keep manually rotating it back. What if I lock it on prograde? I don't think the SAS fixes rotation. It's okay, After once this stage runs out, it'll be a lot easier. Okay, let's burn to orbit now and go save Bob. Jeb is doing his best. Okay, now we are definitely in orbit. Um, and we can do a transfer maneuver plan and get us transferred over to the moon. And we need to make sure, okay, Bob is right there. You can see the icon. So that's a pretty good orbit to save him from. Except that's really low, which is scaring me a little bit. Okay, that should work. Let's warp to that maneuver. Okay, so we're in orbit now. Um, we still have a lot of fuel in this stage, but we don't really need it. I'm just gonna use it to adjust the orbit a little bit. So we're right above Bob, because Bob is this little blue thing right here. So just adjust it like that and then also slow it down so we start going above him like that looks good okay so we're gonna take another trip around the moon and we will save him we're right we're going right above him now which is perfect so let's do a quick save and then we're going to shoot off that section activate this engine and then probably just aim a retrograde we're coming bob let's warp probably here there he is, okay, we can see him. Open the landing legs. Okay, this engine doesn't have a lot of thrust, so I need to make sure I slow down really early because it, it takes a long time to slow down. It looks like we might fly past him. That's okay because we can switch to Bob and fly him over with his jetpack like how we saved Fred me. Shouldn't be that bad, honestly. We're slowing down pretty quick now. And you can fly really fast with the jetpacks. Four kilometers, Bob. Sorry we didn't land right on you. He's gonna have to run a 5K to get to us. Okay, that was a good landing. I'm impressed with that. So now we should be able to switch over to Bob. Why is Bob, what, is he inside the moon? He's falling, wait. Wait. This is, how are we supposed to save him if he's negative 15,000 meters into, is he's bugged, but there's nothing I can do now. Okay, this must have just happened. Okay, I think we can still get him. I think that it just bugged. No, 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 start flying, start flying. I'm trying to fly back up. Can he phase through the ground back up? Oh no, this is like its own rescue mission now. I think we can save him. Let's just start going this way and up. Yeah, okay, we're moving up now. You can see our prograde is up. Yeah, we're definitely going up. So you can see our negative is moving. Okay, please go through the ground. Okay, okay, okay. He's okay, he's okay guys. Now we just fly him over to the ship. Come on, slow down now. Time to slow down. Slow down more. More bump. More slow. Okay, if you turn around, he slows down quicker. Bob did not die. He is still here and he's getting in the pod with Jeb to return back. Now Jeb and Bob are in the pod. Okay, we should be good to go back now. Bob looks seasick in the corner. He, <laughs> he hasn't eaten in days. He's just, he's not feeling well. Three, two, one, 
cut. Those are, yeah, we are already in orbit. Perfect. Okay, now we just need to use the 422 to go back to curb and aim retrograde and break off our landing stage. And we should be good now. Let's just get closer and start going through the atmosphere. Here we go. Okay, we're only gonna have to do one pass this time instead of last time when we had to like go around four times because I didn't get my PE low enough. All right, and there goes the big shoot. Hopefully that's enough to slow him down. I didn't test it. 10 meters per second. That's pretty quick, but I think they'll live. This is how fast they're really going. They're gonna smack the ground hard, but I think they'll live. Please don't die. Please don't die. Yes! Okay. Recover. They hit 38 Gs probably when they smacked the ground. That's pretty hard. They would probably get hurt, but they lived. That's all that matters. Jeb and Bob have returned. Now, here's the plan. Let me show you. When I did the Saturn V mission, there was a lot of extra fuel. I overbuilt this rocket quite a bit, and I think it's good enough to go to Duna. I might want to add a couple things before we go, because we don't actually need 13,000. So I think if we just add like some SRBs or something, it'll make it. So that's all I'm going to do. We're going to add four SRBs to it and then launch it and see if we can make it. Okay, um, before we go though, we're gonna take Bob again. He's been through a lot. We'll take Bill and Jeb, sure. We only wanna make sure we bring three so we can bring them all back. We need to make sure it's in a transfer window. So it needs to be at a 45 degree angle between Kerbin, the Sun, and Duna, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna have to wait a while. I think that's good. I say we go for that. Let's go. All right, looks good so far. All this is is the regular Saturn V I built, but I added SRBs to give it a little bit more Delta V, but pretty much the exact same thing. So we are gonna try to do it Apollo style, which we will see. If we, we were doing an actual planned Duna mission, you would want heat shields and parachutes to get through Duna's atmosphere. But we're trying, I wanna try to do it like with the, Apollo, the Saturn V Apollo 11 style, you know? But we don't have any of that. Okay, SRBs breaking off. Nice. I didn't add Separatron, so that went well. Okay. Break that off. Okay. Now, I'm going to make a maneuver and get us to orbit. Do one cut. Perfect. We're in orbit now? Yeah. Awesome. So, now comes the tricky part where we have to do a transfer to Duna, but I don't really know. I've never done this before. We gotta completely leave the Kerbin system. Like, oh, 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 wait, we had an encounter. Hey, we have an encounter like that. Oh, no way. Look, we're getting it. That, that was easy. I don't even know what I did. Is that the correct way to do it? I guess we just go for that because I don't really know what I'm doing. And that gives us an encounter. And then we'll do a mid-course correction to get it closer. Here we go, boys. Entering Duna's sphere of influence for the first time ever. Why is Bob so scared? Why do they look so scared? Okay, he's chill. He's chilling now. <laughs> Now we do another maneuver plan here to get us into orbit of, oh boy, it's gonna use all our Delta V, isn't it? All right, boys, I don't know if we are gonna make it back. It looks like the best we're gonna be able to do for now is that. That's a pretty good orbit, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we need to time warp. Eat the Kerbal Switch chat. That is so cool. First time I've ever been here. Ready for our burn. We two, one, burn. Okay, Hold on, are we gonna need to do the docking thing mid course? I'm a little bit scared because I wanna make sure I use the command pods feel, so I might have to quickly turn around and dock it. Getting pretty close to it. A little bit scary. Oh, we're hitting the atmosphere, no! This is not good, no! How, I didn't think we were close enough to hit the atmosphere. Oh, we're totally gonna have to load a quick save. We can't have that. Okay, okay, we can save it. Oh, that sucks. So it looks like we're gonna need to be a little bit higher. Oh, is there any way I can even do that now? Or did I already ruin it? I might need to load back further. Chip can just edit the failed parts out for the video. It doesn't count. That is true. That's probably what I will end up doing. <laughs> now enter. 
Arjuna, Sphere of Influence. Done. Okay. We're not getting nearly as close this time. I feel a lot better about it. See, Bob is like freaking out having a panic attack up there. Oh, burn. Burn. Okay, we're going to have to try to do something here. It's going to be kind of hard. We have to quickly dock. Break off. Make sure we have at least one Kerbal in each one. Um, break this off next. This. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. That was not what I meant to do. Load the quick save. Break that off. Yes. Not that. Next. Next stage is going to be break off uh, that, right? Yeah. Break off that. Make sure Kerbal's in each one. Break that off. Then set this docking port as target. Aim at target. Switch to this. This is what the Apollo 11 mission did on the way to the moon, but we couldn't afford that. We did not have time. Now we want this engine activated and we should just get them to dock like this. Dock. There we go. Okay. And then control from here and aim retrograde and deactivate this engine. Activate this engine and burn. I don't know if that we have enough. Okay. We are now in orbit. Now we try to go for the landing. This is going to be hard. Who are we bringing to the surface? Let's bring Bill and Bob. That works. Which way are we going? That way. So I'm going to wait till we come around one more time and then start our landing. Okay. Bill and Bob are in the lander. So now we undock. Control the lander. Aim retrograde. Yeah, sure. Activate this engine. And we can start slowing down. I think I might start burning up if I go too quick into this atmosphere. Aim retrograde. I don't know what the right speed is to enter, but we're just going to try. I'll slow down some so we're not going too quick into it. This lander has a good amount of fuel. Like, I built it a, a well. Oh, uh, make sure I don't use all of my landing stage. Okay, we're not burning up, so that's good. The atmosphere is actually helping. It's slowing us down. I'm going to start burning now. Uh-oh. I think I might have gone a little too late. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No way. I think that actually might have been, like, perfect. Yeah. Nice. That was so good. That was a clutch burn right there. Oh, that was so good. Tell me that wasn't the best burn you've ever seen in this game. Come on. Come on. Nice. Okay. First time I've ever landed on Duna. Wow. Okay. And you can see Ike there. That is so cool. And there is our lander on Duna. All right. I think we have enough fuel in the lander to make it back to the command pod. But I don't know if we have enough fuel in the command pod to make it back to Kerbin. Let's do an EVA. Come on, Bob. I know you were just on the moon literally 20 minutes ago, but now you get to be on Duna. Yay. Let's plant a flag. Site name. Bob's second mission. Why does it do the capitals like that? Okay. Let's see if we can get them back now. We need to launch west, which is this way. Okay. I'm going to use the rest of this lander, even though it's a two stage lander. So technically we're supposed to leave this bottom part, but we have a little bit extra fuel. So we might as well use it to have as much fuel as possible. Oh, we do have an atmosphere. So we kind of have to go up first, unlike the moon where we can literally just burn straight sideways on the launch. And then, oh, you're supposed to break off. There we go. Okay. Okay. We're gone. It's the atmosphere is fighting me. The atmosphere's fighting me. No. Oh, this design, it's not aerodynamic because it's, it's made for the moon, not for, not for anything with an atmosphere. Okay. The atmosphere is really fighting me. You can see it's turning me. Are we in space enough up here? Five, four, three, two, one, cut. All right. We are now in orbit and we are trying to meet up with this. It's a lot easier if you line this up on the on the launch, but obviously I didn't. 200, 190, 180, 70, 
So we're just trying to get that number as low as possible. Oh, we're getting it. We're getting low. We gotta make sure we're not going through the surface, though. Looks like we're not. We're in orbit. We're in a safe orbit, right? Oh, wait, are we? Oh, no, we're gonna drop too low. I'm gonna drop too low right here. And we don't have enough fuel now. Oh, we're out of fuel now. Okay, let's just see if they can survive this. Oh, boy. I think this might be it, guys. Are you in orbit? Yeah, but I messed up the thing, so it's not gonna work. It's they're gonna re-enter the atmosphere. Yeah, they're they're definitely re-entering. Why'd you kill him? I don't know. I didn't mean to. Maybe the atmosphere will slow them down enough that they survive and we can rescue them. Let's see what happens. This isn't looking good though. I think I need to build the rocket a little better. I will try again, probably tomorrow or another day. Best case is the atmosphere slows them down enough that they survive. Which I don't know. Oh, uh, no way they survived this. They're coming in way too fast. Bill and Bob, no! Uh, all right. Hey, we did okay for that being my first mission ever, but I will attempt that mission again. I will see you all tomorrow and goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.